Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Tech Coaching. Today we will be discussing about DBMS, in that we will be discussing about database design. Let us look on the topic. The, design, the designer determines what data must be stored and how data elements are interrelated. That means that it is the duty of designer to determine where data should be stored and how it should be how data elements should be stored and how the each elements are interrelated so we have we follow several plans that means we follow several steps during the database designing in that the first one is planning in this phase the designer will plan should the existing system be continued that means should the existing system be continued or it should be modified or or it should be replaced by the new one hardware and software requirements the system cost and everything is planned by the designer during this planning phase the system cost and hardware and software requirements and everything is planned by the designer so the next phase is analysis phase this is done through SRS document this is done done through SRS document SRS consists of all the product requirements to be designed and developed during the project life cycle. So, in analysis phase, uh, this analysis phase is done through SRS document. That SRS consists of all the product requirements. That means to develop a database. So, we require some products, right? So, those requirement details will be mentioned in SRS. Uh, SRS uh, requirement to be designed and developed during the project life cycles. So, this is about analysis. Next phase is design phase. So the designer will the designer will design the database the physical database the physical database design and the conceptual the conceptual database design Or all planned and designed by by the designers so in this phase the designer will design the database the physical database design and the conceptual database design that is uh, uh, those are all planned and designed by the designers in designing phase the dba database administrator will also play a vital role in designing the database so
DBA will also play vital role in designing. The next phase is implementation. During implementation, install the hardware, the DBMS software and application software programs, application uh, programs will be done in this phase. Before that, the coding phase is completed. That is the system enters into a cycle of coding. That is coding is done and the coding is tested testing phase and the test in during testing it is debug to check whether any error is there if there is an error it will be fixed in testing and debugging so it this cycle will be uh, continuous until it is ready to deliver once coding phase is completed the implementation will be that is implementation means installing the hardware software and application program will be done and after this installation process, the implementation process will be completed. Next comes to the maintenance. In maintenance phase, corrective maintenance in response to system errors. That means after implementation, the system during the working time, if there is any error found, so that will comes under corrective maintenance. Next is adaptive maintenance due to changes in the business environment. That means if the business adopt a new product, so that should be updated in a database. Thus, that will come under business environment. Next is perfective maintenance to enhance the systems. That means new versions will be updated to enhance the system. This is about maintenance. This is all about phases in designing. Next, we have general design strategies. So, we have two general design strategies that is top down, top down versus bottom up design. Next is centralized versus decentralized design these are two designing strategies so this is all about database designers or database designing thank you for watching